Praise the Lord. God bless you. I'm going to go by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. I got a word for you. Amen. Today, for man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I want to get to a point right now. I want to thank all my YouTube viewers. Amen. For supporting me and my wife Priscilla and praying for us and we praying for you. We are humble people. To God be all the glory. Anything to see people get delivered, saved and set free. Because I want to talk about these spiritual gang stalkers who stalk people in the spirit. A lot of them in the physical stalkers. You know, they, they're stalkers. They stalk people. You may have someone stalking you who may be jealous of you. Uh, they may be lusting after you. That's why I always pray before you walk out the house. Some may want to rob you. Um, some may be um, sexual predators. But when you have the blood of Jesus, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. But I want to talk about the gang, the spiritual gang stalkers who are witches and warlocks, who can walk through walls, who can appear out of nowhere. They sold their soul to the devil. Elam don't even have a soul. The devil already took their soul to hell. It's the demons that who inhabit their body. Remember when Jesus um, cast out demons, he was talking about how when an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it seeketh another vessel. They walk through dry places, okay, trying to seek another vessel to live in. But if they see that that body they came out of is not the Holy Ghost field, they have not came to Jesus, those demons would get seven more, more wicked than himself, seven more demons, and re-enter back into that person's body, and now they are in a worse state than before. I dealt with casting out demons since I was 18 years old. I've been preaching the gospel since I was six years old, and I dealt with people who got to live it, but they did not stay to live it. See, see, one thing to come to Jesus, and there's another thing to stay with Jesus. That's deep. Because you may be come to, you may come to Jesus today and then backslide tomorrow. Now you done picked up seven more demons. That's eight demons all together. Now you're in the worst of state. Because you're still dealing with the Ouija boards, the OG boards, the gateways. People got gyms where there's demons on it, or idols, or statues. Are you in these African cultures? I know you in the African culture. Many of you got cultures, but you got to be careful with that because some of these African cultures, uh, some of your Brazilian cultures open, are gateways to demons. You may say, oh, preacher Warren, don't insult my culture. No, I'm trying to help you. If you want to be delivered, some of these voodoo dances, evil voodoo dances, you up there praying to your ancestors and some of your ancestors might have been doing evil with crap. Stop worshiping ancestors and worship the God who created your ancestors. We're not supposed to worship nobody but God. God said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse number eight, I am the Lord and the Lord is my name and my glory I will not give to another. So you got to be careful with these cultures because a lot of our ancestors was in witchcraft back in Africa. Why you think God turned a lot of us over, a lot of us over into slavery? Read the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 30. It talks about Egypt. God was angry at Egypt. Egypt is in Africa. They was worshiping idols and statues. And God was against that. They made God mad. Read the Bible. The Bible said God turned them over into slavery. Even Israel. Israel is God's first chosen people. God turned our people over into slavery because they was disobedient and rebellious against God. When God said, thou shalt not have no other God before me. Thou shalt not worship any graven images. So now God turned him over into captivity. God, I thought God is love. Yes, he's love, but God gets angry. God said, I'm a jealous God, and thou shalt not have no other God before me. So God turned him over into slavery, turned him over into Babylon. That was God's doing until they repent. That's why he said in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7, uh, verse 14, that my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. Stop the witchcraft. Stop the racism. Don't cheat on your wife. Don't cheat on your husband. Stop being a child molester up in the Roman Catholic Church. God said you would be, you would be no priest to me. According to Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, Turn from your wicked ways. Then God shall I will come and hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal the land. You got these gang stalkers who, 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 who are nothing but wizards, witches and warlocks, trying to stalk the people of God. But people of God, you can fast and pray because God gives you power over evil witches and warlocks. 
They used to kill witches years ago to the stake. They used to burn witches to the stake because God said, suffer not a witch to even live. Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Those evil witches who kept killing people. God told Moses this in the book of Exodus 22, verse 18. Suffer not a witch to live. Someone said, well, preacher Juan, you're being harassed. God, you can't expect for a good God to love evil. Why do you think God put Lucifer out of heaven? Because he became wicked. So if God put evil out of heaven, what makes you think God going to let evil back into heaven? Evil will be destroyed by God. Thank God for a good God. Read the book of Leviticus chapter 20. They was worshiping Molech and offering up little babies to a statue named Molech doing devil worship. That's how Halloween originated and all that Christmas pagan and Easter. They was offering up little babies to these statues and idols to Nimrod and Seremus. See those Christians who call themselves Christians in a lot of those churches, especially the Roman Catholic churches, even in the Pentecostal churches too. If they worship the idols, they are not real Christians. Real Christians, we have the Holy Ghost according to, and not we don't take no jug over those because we already have the Holy Ghost. Don't need no dope. God is a great hope. You don't need no crack. Run to where Christ is at. Just get out the prayer match. According to the day of Pentecost, where they got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, those are real Christians. Those of us who are Pentecostals, we don't worship idols. We don't worship Tamus. We don't worship Seremus. But if you're worshiping the goats, you're supposed to be the sheep, not the goats. So somebody says, you know, you're, you're the goat. No, I'm not the goat. I want to be the sheep. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The goat will be on the left side and the sheep will be on the right side. You got these folks worshiping Baphomet and they stalk, and they go around stalking people in the street in the spirit. They, have you ever saw folk who appear and look like, and look like they disappear? Or you feel somebody watching you behind you? A lot of my soul traveling, going outside their bodies, doing astral projections, which is waking up two, three in the morning time, doing astral projections while you sleep and coming in your dreams. And you getting wet dreams and all these lustful dreams because all of a sudden now you got some lustful witch lusting after you and don't want your marriage to work.